Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am cash stuffing the second half of my second paycheck of May. Um, to show you my teller slip. This is what everything should look like. And to count the cash. Ooh, I didn't organize this. Oh my gosh. This week, y'all, has been a journey. I don't know like what my deal is, but um, my boyfriend is out of town. I live with him in our apartment in California, and he's been out of town, and I don't know, it's like thrown me off. And then I was so busy this weekend, I got a new tattoo. I had, I hosted my parents at our apartment for the first time, and everything is just crazy. I'm not even like on top of all my videos. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so we have $50. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So all there, gorgeous. I'm gonna stick that to the side. I have some extra pens and things that I'm going to need. So let me just bring those out. Okay, perfect. So first things first, I'm gonna start with my wallet. I did, because um, my folks were out of town, I did some major spending at the grocery store. So first things first, I'm gonna take out my receipts, set those to the side. Um, those are going to be scanned into my Fetch Rewards. If you're unfamiliar with Fetch, it's a rewards app. Um, you scan in your receipts on your phone, those points become gift cards. And I have a referral code in the description down below. If you use it for your first uh, receipt, you get some starter bonus points and I get points for referring you, kind of a win for both of us. So I'm gonna take out these um, $1 bills. Those are gonna go towards my 100 envelope challenge. So as you can see, I spent everything. Um, I spent everything in groceries. It was the highest grocery bill we've had so far since moving out, but it was worth it to entertain my parents. So groceries is getting 80, so 20, 40, 60, 80. Target, which is just household, um, is getting 20. So 20, 40, 55. It's building up nicely. Gas is getting 20, so it now has $30. I don't get gas every week because I work 100% remote, so I treat that as more of a sinking fund. Spending and Oopsie are getting skipped because they're fully funded at 15 and 20 respectively. And that's it for my wallet. Pretty sweet on that. Going into low priority sinking funds. Online shopping is getting $10. Whoops, that's a 20. <laughs> so it now has 30. So $30. Stuffing, and today that I am filming is the 21st. Okay, eating out is getting five dollars. So ten, twenty-five, thirty-five. Not a lot this week, but that's okay. Every little bit, you know, it adds up, even if you can only put five dollars it adds up what did i say today was 21st oh my god i do this every time i'm always like what <laughs> what did i write down self-care is getting ten dollars a lot of tens this week so self-care now has 20 i desperately need to get my bangs trimmed something fierce so um I will be sure to do that this week. I really got to schedule the appointment, go to like super cuts or something. Family is getting its usual five, so five, 10, 15. Father's Day is coming up. So that's the next 
kind of thing I'm saving for. 15. Perfect. Nintendo is getting $10. So I can color in a little icon. Saving up for the next system. So 100, 20, 30, 40. So 140 in Nintendo. So 40. Tattoos is getting skipped, but it has a hundred dollars. Adventure is getting ten. So twenty thirty-five. It's building up again very nicely. So thirty-five, yeah. Ten stuff. Five twenty-one. And then wedding is getting skipped, but it has five dollars. I'm not engaged, but just saving up for someday. I may be so lucky to be. Christmas is getting $10, and this is very exciting, because we reached $40, which means we can stuff a family member's envelope. If you're unfamiliar, or if you're new here, I should say, my Christmas binder, I stuff like $10 a week. In the general Christmas envelope, once I reach 40, we go to a family member's envelope and stuff it, and that means their under the tree gift is fully funded. So that's my niece all done. So the last family member I gotta do is my nephew, and then we can work on stockings, which is very exciting. I'm trying to do like $20 per person for the stockings, so. Oh, that's so exciting. I love it when I have a family, when I get to stuff a family member's um, envelope. So high priority sinking funds. Emergency is getting skipped. It's fully funded at 10,000. BB is getting his usual 50. So he has 500, 50, 600. I'm paying back my boyfriend because we recently moved out together. Um, I'm paying him back for my half of some beginning apartment expenses, furniture mostly. Savings is getting $10. Oh gosh. Savings now has 500, 600, 700 in the bank and 2030. So 730 in savings. IRA is getting $10, so it now has 20. And I'm gonna put a little bit of money every week in here and then at the end of the month unstuff and put it in my IRA. So there's not like a particular goal or anything with this. Um, I'm just kind of putting whatever I can. Health is getting $5, so this is now fully funded. This is for my monthly prescriptions, so it's about $15. So 5, 10, 15. And actually, just so I have like a note to myself, I'm going to reach into my placeholder bag here and pull out a fully funded, just so I know when I'm going through here that, like when I go to, um, budget for next month, uh, or like next week rather. Um, I know that this is good to go. I don't have to put anything towards it next week, which is very exciting. Medical is fully funded at 155. That's like my co-pays. Um, and car is getting $10. So 50, 60, $70. I have a goal of $300 in here, so that should be enough for registration and an oil change for next year. And then if I need any more serious, uh, like knock on wood, if I need anything more for my car, I would take it out of savings, is how that would work. 
dog is getting skipped, as is Amanda Gord's. And Amanda Gord's is like for stuff for my YouTube channel or my Twitch streams. So, oh no. Next up, this is new. I am doing a month ahead because then I'm going to start cash stuffing my bills. So the next thing we're going to do is utilities. And I have little challenges for these. Utilities is getting $20. So I can color in five of these, right? Four, eight, 16, yeah, 20. So color these in. Utilities for us um, includes water, trash, pest control um, for our apartment, for our apartment complex. So it's usually about 120 uh, a month, 130, something more, somewhere in there. Car insurance is getting 15. So we can also do five of these. Three, six, nine, 12, and 15. I'm very excited to have a month ahead on all of my bills because right now I just feel like, I don't know, like I'm withdrawing so much from the bank. I don't know. It just feels kind of crazy. Electric is getting $10. So we're only doing one light bulb. Electric is the one that's gonna take forever just because the electric bill is always so much higher than all my other bills. But it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, help. I'm also like trying to cash stuff more towards electric just because we're getting into summer and that's just going to be more as we turn on air conditioning because it gets so hot in California. Internet is getting $10, so that's also five of these. So two, four, six, eight, and 10. I would say that getting a month ahead is like the second highest priority right now to paying back, um, to paying back BB, my boyfriend, so. And then taxes is not getting anything. This is for taxes um, from Twitch and eventually if I ever get monetized on YouTube. Um, I wouldn't withdraw that money, um, but just to keep track of how much in my savings account has to go towards taxes. Next up is my savings challenges. So this one is from Dripped by Erica. And it's getting $5. We already have 10. So we're going to move it up to 15. And I'm just going to add a little bit every week, another 5 or $10, and just move through these envelopes. They all go up. Oh my gosh. Each of these envelopes goes up by five. So pretty stoked about that. And that's all that it has. And last but not least is, let me close this before I mark myself up with this marker. Last but not least is the 100 envelope challenge. So I withdrew 45 from the bank because we're working on this row here. And then I have an extra $2. So I'm gonna put this extra dollar in my stash cash and we're gonna stuff envelope number 46. So 20, 45, six. We're getting to the higher numbers now, um, which I'm actually really excited about because that means the total money saved every week like really adds up quickly, which is super motivating to me. Because when we were like in the low numbers, I was like, are we even getting anywhere? <laughs> but with the big numbers, it adds up really fast, which is super exciting. So number 46. Okay, so then on my little tracker here, 
we did 46 today. So, 1491 plus 46, we now have $1,537 saved so far. That's so exciting. When we're done with this challenge, we'll have 5,050. So super hype. Next week we'll do envelope number 45 and then we'll move into the 50s, which is very exciting. Well, everybody, that is all of the cash for this week. I hope you enjoyed this cash stuffing. If you did, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out a small channel like mine. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.